Word on the street is somewhere in a Romanian jail, they're calling Andrew Tate Chelsea. Because if anyone should get done for human trafficking, it's them. Last season, these men couldn't even open a club shop. They couldn't sell a club magazine until that Stars and Stripes, Boris Johnson looking Todd Bowie came in and now they're blowing money fast like little Meech and Terry. I can't believe it. Arsenal fans had dreams of Caicedo from Brighton. Arsenal Twitter said it was done to the point where I had to look and see if it was a Michael Joseph Jackson thing. As long as you're my baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. Nah, fam, that's Jorginho, blood. No legs like a dolphin. That's definitely him. Liverpool signing Cody Gakpo. They're stacked up top like Johnny Bravo, fam. But just know, the way that they've been leaking goals, they would have been better off with Connor Cody. Cancelo and Pep had a bust up in training. I'm hearing it look like Goldberg versus John Cena, fam. Cancelo's been in the team of the season year after year. Pep treated man like Daniel Kalula, fam. Told man, get out, quick. Vamanos, vamanos. Ericsson injured. After his last game, he ended up in a boot like Chris Tucker in Jackie Brown fam. So Man United needed a replacement. Here we go, Sabitzer. We were losing so Jeez, expressions back with another video. Make sure you smash a like and where do we start, blood? Where do we start, fam? Last season, we were talking about save the bridge. This season, we're talking about save the Premier League. Chelsea are handing out some eight-year sugar night death row contracts. They need to be investigated. They're buying everything. The amount of money they're spending, they may want to buy some Premier League points because Chelsea are sitting in 10th. And top 10 don't mean nothing unless you're making music, fam. The amount of man they brought in. Forget free network. These man should be sponsored by Laurie Harvey, fam. Shameless. Todd Bowie spending 300 million like it's £3.50. Keep the change. These guys even got Arsenal to pay for the Jao Felix Sloan why they got rid of that fossil Jorginho blood. That brother moves like a typewriter. Chelsea are winning. Nah, Chelsea are going to be a problem. Todd Bowie walking into negotiation and slapping man with his wallet and leaving with his player. This is what man was telling me Newcastle was going to do. It's P. Enzo Fernandez. Benfica said he isn't going anywhere. Don't go anywhere. But everyone's got a price like Ted DiBiase, bro. The brother is now a Chelsea player. Mikhailo Modric was twerking for Arsenal, blood. You know them way there, begging like a Ukrainian Oliver Twist fam. Then Todd Bowie came in, treated like the Premier League, like a strip club fam. Throwing millions, blood. And now Jamie from EastEnders with a questionable neck tattoo, blood. They better double check that that neck tattoo isn't offensive to black people because Raheem Sterling can play right wing and he can play on the wing in Wormwood Scrubs, blood. Them man there are from Jamaica and he's not having it, bro. Look at the list of man that Chelsea have bought, fam. Enzo Fernandez, Mikhailo Madrich, blood. Benoit Badashili's blood. Yao Felix, fam. Christopher Nkunku, bro, in the summer. Malo Gusto. Noni Maduiki, blood. Fucking hell, bruv. I can't believe it. Arsenal came out showing the world that they were willing to spend big money on Mikhailo Madrich, even though they were top in the league. I was scared. I even saw compilations of Modric in an Arsenal shirt. I thought Dream Team was back. Harchester United, Carl Fletcher in them, man. I couldn't believe it. All these Arsenal fans, I can't wait to see him in red. I can't wait to see him in red. I can't wait to see him in red. Listen, the only way you're going to see him in red is if you get him back in blood like Poo Shiesty fam. That brother's at Chelsea kissing the badge. It's P. However, these man bring in Trossard, Robbie Williams fam, Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards with them hand binoculars that you would think that he was going to play for West Ham. But he's a good signing, Premier League proven, and he'll definitely score goals. And then I'm hearing Arsenal are willing to play 70 million for Caicedo. Fam, I was scared, bro. Because we both know if party gets injured or indicted, they're going to be in problems, fam. There'll be nothing in the middle like an onion ring. Just know. Fam, I woke up to the back again with Troops account. That man told me that it was a done deal. But minute that man pick up footballs, run with it and scream, touchdown. 
I should have known. These man ended up paying 12 million for a man that had six months left on his deal. These man ended up paying 12 million for a man that could never have a statue. What would it stand on? Because he's got no legs. Chelsea are still treating Arsenal like an old people's home while they're sat in 10th and Arsenal are first. Where's the R-E-S-P-E-C-T? I can't believe it. These man actually paid 12 million for penalties. How many parking tickets do these Arsenal players plan on getting? What's going on? And yeah, they signed some brother called Jacob Kiwi for 21 million as well, fam. Tottenham have signed C Senor Poro, fam. 5 million loan, 40 million obligation at the end of the row. Like boys to men, fam. I can't lie, this took ages, fam. It took ages. I wish our negotiations were as long as Daniel Levy's hair, but this brother always takes it to the wire. It's Avon Barksdale FC with him, but we got our man. We've been playing with 10 men at times this season. Emerson Royal needs to be put on ice like Captain America, blood. Steve Rogers, he needs to be playing with the under 21 savages, bro. Big man team. Lockie e ended up going on loan to Atletico Madrid, but because Tottenham got too many man loaned out, moving like a gigolo service fam. His contract got that Arnold Swartz don't say the rest. He was terminated, fam. I can't lie. Docky he moving to Atletico Madrid, you know. All I'm saying is, yeah, he's got the best agent in the world. Docky's agent could probably get me the lead in the next James Bond film. Big man thing, I ain't seen a black James Bond, but he could do it. But has also signed Don Juma, who scored on his debut, done the snake celebration after what he did to Everton, fam. I'm telling you, bruv. Man left the toffees hanging like some Evertonian chandeliers. We love to see it. Jed Spence and Brian or Messi have both gone out on loan. Spence has gone to Rennes. Uh, Brian or Messi's gone to Sevilla, even though we should have sent him to a gym, blood. I don't know why we sent him back to the same club he came from, but yeah, nah, they'll both do well. But breaking news, fam. Spurs have signed Jude Bell. <clears throat> nah, 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 nah. Not belling him, bro. I was clearing my throat, blood. I think it's Jude Sosop Bell or something like that. But we'll take him. Liverpool signed Cody Gakpo for 45 million, adding to their already stacked Harley Street front, fam. But that's like buying guns and having no money left for ammunition, fam. Like these man are in problems. You got no back like Kira Knightley, fam. They're getting pulled apart like Mr. Incredible's wife, fam. Alaska girl. It's P. I can't believe it. These men are buying all these attackers when they got no spine like a jellyfish, bro. They need to address their problem. Where's the midfield? Where is the midfield, fam? Man United, Man United brought in that Dutch daddy long legs, white weg horse, and Marcel Sabitzer, because Sony Ericsson is injured, fam. You know, them way days out for a couple months and all of that. And I think that's a good bit of business for them. Newcastle decided to splash 45 million on Anthony Gordon. And I'm not going to lie, yeah, he's worth that 45 million solely for driving past Yerry Mina, blood, and laughing when the Everton fans were sticking on him. I can't believe it. You would think that Yerry Mina was Francis Ngannou the way he left him, blood. That's his boyhood club too, bruv. I can't believe it. My man was chilling in his supercar watching a comedy film, bruv, to his own fans. Hey, listen, listen. You don't want to go back there. That's it for the Band Sports Ooze Transfer Roundup. Make sure you smash a like on the video and I'll see you soon.